Let's move on and make our generic seat now. It's not going to be anything special. So let's just grab a cube. Do this real fast. I'm going to draw this out here about like that. Even this up best we can. And we'll put it right in the middle here. And we'll raise it up like so. And that's looking pretty good. If we wanted to, let's see, I'm going to get rid of this. line here in the middle just so when we go to join this it won't be as much of a problem so now let's widen these up a little bit So, okay, let's continue on. Let's grab our top polygon, let's bevel it way out like this. Let's shift click it, let's bring it up, shift click, bevel it in, and pull it up to create our cushion. Let's go to vert mode, let's grab these and these. Well, let's grab all four of them on the edges. Not these down here, though. And let us scale them together to make kind of a seat shape. Let's select this polygon. Let's bevel it in. Scale it to where it's a little more square. And let's extrude it. Like so. Now we're going to rotate this and we're going to wedge this out. I'm going to rotate this like this. I'm going to extrude it again. Bring it out. Rotate it. Okay. I'm going to extrude it again. We're going to keep doing this until we get straight up. But I'm not big on this. I'm going to show you how to do the wedge because it's a lot cleaner. Okay, so let's go in here, go to edge mode, and let's select these edges down the middle, like so, and let's join them. Now, we can take this edge, bring it down with our action center set to automatic, bring it in. Now, as you can see, we have a lot cleaner of a wedge face now that we have joined this stuff together. So let's select this edge here. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Pull it forward. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm not even sure if I need that top um, deal there, so I can just fill it back in. And now, we have a really nice wedge shape there on our corner. So let's bring this on up. This. Let's go ahead and make another square cube for our seat backing. Looks pretty good there. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and grab polygons. I'm going to split right down the middle. Like so. Now I can take this polygon, this polygon, bevel them, bring them out, and scale them down like this. Now we can also bring them forward. Now let's do the same thing here, on this side. Let's bevel them out, scale them down, move them forward. Now let's run our loop slices. Count of two on symmetry. Like so. Let's run them around through here. Up through here, up through here, and just around all the edges that you can find here. Let's do this side, like so. Now when we sub-D this, we're getting a really good interesting seat. So all we need to do is move this forward. run a couple of loop slices around this which I'm not a big fan of there I don't know if I like that or not that's okay so let's go ahead now oops and let's select our loops let's move them up let's go in here like this Pull that into there and run one more loop slice right around there like that. And I guess that's just a little bit too far out, ain't it? We don't want to bring it that far. We'll bring it just out like that. Then we'll loop slice it. Now we can bring our seat back. Okay, let's go ahead and run the loop slice right around here, and right around here. That helps hold our wedge a little bit better. Let's see here. It's looking pretty good, pretty good. I just don't have to be real high detail because nobody's going to be seeing it much. I'm going to go ahead and use my edge tool and cut right down my wedges here. Like so. I don't know what the heck happened. <laughs> happened there. <laughs> Wow. Ain't that something? Let's do this over. There, that's looking a little bit better. But I need to join a few more here. And there we go. That cleans up my corner really nicely. Okay. So let's cut the video off. I don't think we got enough time to go on. And we'll the next video we'll make our feet stirrups. First, let's take this down into the ground. So, and we have to, of course, have to run our loop slices to keep it that way. Okay, there's the beginnings of our seat. And we'll continue.
continue on the next video.